Want to change your looks? Got an hour? Can I play? We'll show you how. I feel great. Lunch hour makeovers. Would you give it another try? Are you going to pay for it? <laughs> Today from 30 Rockefeller Plaza on The Jane Pauley Show. Maybe it's not the first guy you'd think of for a beauty treatment, but next, we visit the dentist. Lavar are weaving their magic. We'll be checking back with them throughout the program. Meanwhile, when it comes to quick fixes, the fastest facelift has always been a dazzling smile. And these days, people don't fear a trip to the dentist. They are flocking there for teeth whitening. Jennifer is a school teacher. She's embarrassed by her yellow teeth and has been living at home to save the money to have them whitened. When you see a person for the first time, the first thing you notice is their face and their smile. And I think it's uh, important to have a great smile. As a teacher, I'm in front of the classroom and I work among my harshest critics. Hi, Jen. Hi. I'm Dr. Lohenberg. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what brings you to the Big Apple? My yellow teeth. I hate how my teeth are discolored. What about that chip on your front tooth? I would love to get that chip taken care of. Okay, Jane, the most important thing in power bleaching is that I protect your gums and your lips so that the powerful light which is going to bleach your teeth will not sunburn any parts of your face. Next thing I'm going to do is paint a rubber dam on your gums to protect your gums from the bleaching gel. Okay, now I'm gonna paint the bleaching gel on your teeth and then we're gonna put the Paralyte about this far from your face, and we're gonna start 60 minutes of bleaching. Three cycles of 20 minutes each. Okay, Jen, now I'm gonna bond that little chip and make that tooth look perfect. We paint an adhesive onto the tooth itself, take some composite resin and sculpt it onto your tooth. Now I'm just gonna shape the tooth and polish it, and then we'll be all done. Ready to see your new smile? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Oh my God, awesome. <laughs> Let's all look at Jennifer before. And let's see what Jennifer looks like now. I was telling Jennifer that the, the magic of her new smile is not the teeth. It's the white teeth made your incredible eyes pop. Thank you. Just beautiful eyes. Doesn't she have gorgeous eyes? So how do you feel? I feel great. I feel much more confident. I feel freer with my smile. Um, initially, after getting my teeth whitened, they handed me a mirror. And when I looked in the mirror, I was happy. They were, I could tell they were lighter. But it wasn't until I stepped out into the street, into the daylight, and took out a mirror, I was so excited because the lighting in the dental office wasn't that great. That's when I really saw how much whiter they were, and I was thrilled. I was ecstatic. Now, I would, would guess that you were really the only one who ever noticed how mm. yellow they had been. No, 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 not really. Um, I'm a middle school teacher. I teach special education, and I work among my harshest critics. Middle school students will tell you exactly what they think. Oh, yeah. If you're having a bad hair day, they'll let you know. If you have a blemish, <laughs> they'll point it out. So um, anyway, one day I was working with a group of students, and out of the blue, one of my students said to me, um, do you brush your teeth? And I said, well, of course I brush my teeth. And he goes, oh, well, it doesn't really look like it. Your teeth are very yellow. Oh. And he really wasn't trying to be facetious. They just, you know, say what they think. And it really hit home, and it made me want to do something about my teeth. Well, we're happy that you met Dr. Mark Lowenberg, who is a cosmetic dentist. Oh, and you're, ha you're happy, too. I'm very happy. Oh, power bleach. Is that what you power said? Bleach. Power yeah, that's, bleach. That's what it's called, power bleaching, because it's not just a laser. The light source is different than a laser, but it, it actually does the same thing. So it's an in-office procedure where you paint peroxide gel on the teeth, 
and the paralyte actually bleaches the teeth, gets them as white as they could possibly get, and as Jennifer's saying, it really makes people happy, because a lot of people today don't like the way their teeth look. And while everyone's obsessed with their hair or their makeup or their clothes, Nothing matters unless you have a great looking smile. Do you know? That's really that I, does it. I tend to notice the opposite sometimes because you just gave Jennifer a beautiful smile. It looks very natural. But you, know, you must see them too. Someone smiles and their over whitened teeth are right. blue. Right, they're very chalky looking, exactly. As a matter of fact, there have been a lot of TV episodes where they make fun of that. You know, you go to the dentist to have your teeth bleached and they come out blue white, and that's overdoing it. But a lot of that actually happens from the at-home trays, which Jennifer used also, by the way. Because after the power bleaching, we made custom trays so she could take them home and bleach her teeth at night. And she did that for about five days. But people that are really fanatical about white teeth, they take those trays and they use them for weeks on end, and their teeth get ridiculously white, and you, and you know they're not real. I mean, people just aren't born with those kind of teeth. <laughs> well, I, well, I just, I gotta ask, how long before the blue teeth turn normal? <laughs> it, it depends, you know, it's different with everybody. As a matter of fact, the whole bleaching procedure is different for everyone. There are no guarantees. Some people's teeth are more receptive to the bleach than others. Some people's teeth, the bleaching lasts longer. But if you over bleach, it would probably take about six months for your teeth to come back to the normal color. Now, in Jennifer's case, she likes the way her teeth look right now, but they're going to fade back. Maybe in three to six months, she's going to have to put those at-home trays back in her mouth to keep the bleaching really as white as she wants it to be. But that's okay. Oh, definitely not a problem. Um, <laughs> With the at-home trays, every night I, you know, continued to use them, and it was like Christmas walking into the bathroom. They kept on getting whiter and whiter each day. I was so excited. <laughs> okay, the latest in skincare. Let there be light. Next.